gosh. I mean, congratulations again. Every time I see you, you're just even more successful than the last time. I don't know how that keeps happening. But we talked about how you started writing at an early age last time, but I did not know that your grandma was one who kind of inspired you, right? Yes, definitely. So she's 4'8", um, but she has a massive personality. She's the biggest personality you've ever met. Yeah. And she, oh, there she is. She is so cute. And every single night before bed, she would come to my room um, bundled in a bunch of blankets. And she would sit at the end of the bed and tell cuentos or stories. And they were passed down from every generation. I'm Colombian, and so it was passed down through an oral tradition. So it changed based on who was telling it. Yeah. And they were kind of too scary, but my favorite was called La Niña con la Estrella en la Frente, which means the girl with the star on her forehead. Yeah. And it was about this girl who got this magical star on her forehead. And even if other people um, tried to take it off and scratch it off, the more they tried to take it away, the brighter it became and the more beautiful it became. And I just thought that was so magical, especially as a yeah. child. And so it really inspired me to one day want to become a storyteller because she truly was the original storyteller in my family. Yeah, what a magical thing to come yeah. at night and do that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about this installment in this series. Yeah, so for anyone who isn't familiar, Light Lark is about an island that appears once every hundred years yeah. to host a game where six rulers fight to break their deadly curses. Now, to break all of the curses, one of the six rulers has to die and one will win a bunch of power. So there's enemies, lovers, romance, big plot twists. You don't yeah. know who's lying until the very last page. Yes. And all of the books start exactly where the last one ended. So you can read them all like one giant book. And the new book, Sky Shade, which is out now, it has even bigger plot twists, even bigger betrayals trails and the love triangle which is really at the heart of this story love uh, definitely tension. heats up there's yeah. a lot of tension yeah. between both characters and that's something i did not anticipate i didn't anticipate that readers would be so passionately either team grim or team oro they are yeah. they have tattoos they have messaged me i wow. joke because the end of the series really does end up with her not only choosing one but if people are familiar with the book the love triangle has very high stakes behind it too yeah. so i always joke that i am going to have to enter witness protection um, when the last book comes <laughs> out going to be like angry either yes, way yes definitely yes, you're going to disappoint someone yes, either way that's yes. a nice way to I live know, life right? yeah. yeah oh my god i heard that th this was going to be the last book but now it's not because it's yes. in such demand there's actually more books so after. i didn't even know that i was going to be able to continue the series we originally only sold two books in the yeah. series and then another book and then just a few months ago i learned i was able to um continue the series so there's not just one light lark book coming out next year there are two light lark books coming oh out next god. year um, I, yes, which I'm very excited about. And one of them is a continuation of the series. And the yeah. other one is a very special book that I've had a lot of fun writing. And I will say that I think both Team Grimm and Team Oral will be very happy about this extra book that's coming out next okay. year. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Coming back. Thank for coming you. back. Thank Pick you. up Alex's latest installment of the Light Lark Saga Sky Shade. It's available now wherever you buy your books. And everyone in the audience is going home with a copy. Yeah.